Mara Stidwell, and this is my screen life about what I think of Cornwall. I wrote this poem a few years ago, but what I'm trying to say is that whether it's grey, or boring, or miserable, or you sometimes feel like you just want to get out of here, Cornwall was definitely beautiful, and I couldn't have wished for a better place to grow up. Cornwall was once the land of the Celts. Now it seems to be the land of tightening your belts. The grey streets of the towns with lots of loss of shops. The dying agriculture, you reap what you sow, but where is the crop? Low income, little travel, it's a little run down. It can feel somewhat desolate when the summer sun's down. Second homes are empty when the tourists leave. That might be Cornwall for you, but this is Cornwall for me. It is the tranquil mornings, so unperturbed, the hills so crisp that the mist obscures. It is the crimson red of the sun as it sets in the west. The night that rolls down as the light is suppressed. It's the homes of the people scattered on the land. The memories of past sprinkled in the sand. It is the fishing boats nestled in the cove for the approaching storm that rattles the stoves. It is the overwhelming cliffs that loom in the sky, the deep red and greens of the serpentine. It's the ferns, fauna, fungi and gorse, the wildflowers of pink that pattern the moors. It is the endless horizon, an incessant sea blue, the sapphire, the emeralds, the lilac lagoon. It is the foamy cream of the slippery waves, the echoes of the swell in the luminous caves. It's the stars dusted over the vast night skies, the shy villages under the moon's prying eyes. It's the cloak of cloud that creeps in from the coast, the foghorn that snarls at this trespassing ghost. It is the immense beauty of it, in its entirety, sleeping to the big bad wolf of society. It is the kingdom I call my own. It is Cornwall, home sweet home. Thank you for watching my screen life. 